Hello Gun Nation, Big Johnson coming at you. All right, y'all have all seen the videos. I still have questions that are being asked to me, so I thought that I would do this video to kind of sum it up. So, Staccato C2 Duo versus MPA DS9 Commander. This is the all carry version, and I'll kind of go over it a little bit, or you can check out that video. I've got videos, detailed videos on both of these. So, what are my likes, dislikes? What do I think about between the two guns? Which one do I have more time behind? That kind of stuff. Blah, blah, blah. So, we're going to kind of sum it up. Do I carry both of these guns? Yes, I have been carrying both of these guns. They will all fit in this holster. That one will fit in that holster, but it sticks out of the bottom. But I do have another one that it fits in better. Uh, it's the same, you know, that's a Tenacore. This is a Alpha Omega uh, holster, but let's get that out of the way and let's get into it. Uh, also, I've been asked, do I prefer the Acro P2 over the Hollow Sun 508T? Answer to that is yes, I prefer the Acro P2 over the Hollow Sun 508T. Do I like both of them? Yes. Will both of them work? Yes. This one's an enclosed emitter, that one is an open emitter. So, when you have your body lint, your body skin, all that bullshit fall off of you, this one hits the back window, you can wipe it off. This one's a freaking cup when you carry appendix, so it catches all that shit and you gotta blow it out of there. So, neither one of them are bad, that's just my opinion. Trust me, if you carry like I do, you're gonna get sweat in there, you're gonna get body skin because you shed you're gonna get belly button lint I mean I'm trying to just let you know shit falls on your optics it does it's real world shit we're not baby coating anything here but do I like both of these yes absolutely love both of these as y'all know this is my second C2 the first one the frame warped took a shit this is the replacement they replaced it hundred percent and everything's good I've got probably over a thousand rounds. No, I do. I've, I don't have my book with me to tell you the exact amount, but it's over a thousand rounds uh, through this one now, probably 1,500. Through this one, I have right at about 900 rounds. If, I, if I'm off a little bit, I'm sorry, but I don't have my book here. I actually record all the sh mags I put through these damn things. I just don't have the book right here with me. Um, sorry. But uh, they both shoot great. Uh, have I had any problems with either? No, they both ran perfectly. I've shot 115 FMJs, 124 FMJs, 147 FMJs. I've shot 124 hollow points through both and 147 hollow points. Sig v, v Crown, uh, gosh, HSTs, you know, everything that I carry mostly, I've shot through these with zero problems. Um, do I recommend both of these guns? Yes, they're both great guns. On this one, if y'all haven't seen it, and I'm not gonna, you know, pop it out, but it does have the X300 on it. It does have the uh, Threat Cadre Comp on it. So this one is the threaded model. I did have a separate barrel made for it. I still have the stock barrel also. As you will see, if y'all check out the comparison videos, I put the stock barrel back in it so I could compare stock to stock and they both did great. I uh, do have the Atlas Trigger in here, all that good stuff. So this one is not exactly stock, um, but there you go. And again, the X300 on it. So there's that. This one is in a Tentacore, Soul, I believe. It does have the same setup, Surefire X300. This is the turbo model, and this is the DS9 Commander. There is something kind of special about this one. You'll see right there, they etched BJGG carry on, Big Johnson Guns and Gear carry on. I really, really like this gun a lot. I wish it was the aggressive grip. However, this one is not bad at all. I have XXL hands. That is where my hand sits on this one. There is no magwell. It's designed that way and you cannot add a magwell to this. If you want the magwell version, they do offer a magwell version of this. This is kind of their slimline carry. So, that's it. Um, mag release works great. Trigger is awesome. Um, everything is nice about this gun. Both have bull barrels, all that good stuff. Uh, this is an aluminum complete lower. 
uh, with an aluminum grip. That one is an aluminum with a polymer lower. Uh, I haven't checked the exact weights on these, you know, to compare the weights. Sorry about that, but neither one of them bar or bother me for carrying. On all of my dots, I do have everything marked with the witness marks. Everyone should do that uh, to see if they back off. But also on my holsters, all my holsters, I will only run the DCC clips. These are discrete carry concept clips. I will only run metal clips. Plastic clips suck. They break over time. They bend. They deform. These do not. So that's my opinion. Take it for what you will. These will fit on most all holsters, even if they don't come with it. You can usually switch it out for a DCC, buy them from them, and replace them on your own holsters. I also do prefer wedges on my holsters, or excuse me, uh, claws on my holsters. Here's the claw, there's the claw. Uh, also, I usually prefer wedges on here. This one has a built-in wedge. You can kind of see it's a little bump right here. That one doesn't have one yet, but I've got some here that I probably will be playing with to see which one I like. They're both great guns. They're both great guns. I'm not taking anything away from any, either one of them. However, when I did my comparison, regular barrel to regular barrel, this one is the MPA, is more accurate. I use the exact same ammo, the exact same day, and this one does get tighter groups for me. I feel this one's made a little more tightly, more precise, more custom built than this one. Each one of these pistols are built pretty much by hand, lapped, all of that stuff, fitted. They say these are too, however, I think you're dealing with a little bit of production stuff. Here, it's pretty much all custom. Neither one of these have MIM parts in them. I'm not a MIM part fan if you know me or follow me. Um, this one is all billet. No forgings, this one does have some forgings, but it's uh, no mem and has bullet par billet parts and things like that. Um, I mean, they're both fantastic guns. I highly recommend both of them. But if I have to pick one for ever, I mean like the ultimate, you know, I love this comp. This comp, this Threat Cadre comp really, really works. It's one of the best comps out there. It works. And I like it better than some of the other offerings for Staccato because it doesn't look like a duck bill. It looks like it belongs and fits that gun better. You will notice a couple of other things. Okay. I don't like grip safeties. I've hated them from day one. So I usually have them pinned. And they will pin it for you if that's what you choose to. Pin. Ba ba ba. So there's that also. Uh, because... You don't need 15 safeties. You've got your main safety there. Um, these are just some of my opinions. Take it for what you will. Uh, they're both fantastic guns. I'm very glad I have both of them. Uh, just so you know, also, I have the big brothers of these. So I have the Staccato P, all alloy, just like this one with the polymer grip. And it does have a comp on it also. I do have the DS9 hybrid, uh, big brother of this. Both of those are fantastic guns fantastic guns really really love them so that's why i'm glad that i have what i have i have two of these the big brother and the little brother i have two of these the big brother and the little brother and i'm set with 2011s um i think for the price point on this one being more customized you know backup sites all that stuff the plates are additional just like they are in staccato um I think for a custom type gun, these are really, really hard to beat for the price. I know there's Atlas, I know there's other manufacturers out there, but I can't say enough about MPA. I really can't. I really, really love what they do and their setups and their offerings. Uh, you can custom buy them or Texas Gun Experience, you know, that's my home range. They actually stock the DS9s, not the carries yet, but they stock the DS9 full size. Uh, they usually keep four or five of them in stock. Last time I was up there, they had four or five. Both of these have great relief cuts underneath. I have no issues with either of them. I get about the same amount of grip on both. This one does have a slight factory magwell, you could say, or a flare. This one does not. Uh, this one holds 17 rounds plus one in the pipe. This one holds 16 rounds plus one in the pipe. But they will take any 2011 mag. So you can put your long boys in there or your 16, 17 rounds. Mo this mag, this ST or a Staccato mag, will fit in this one. Uh, this one, I can't remember if it fits in that one or not. Uh, but 
any 2011 mag, these are compatible with it. So, except bull armory. But if you have any questions, please let me know. Comment below, which one do you like better? Do you like the Staccato or do you like the MPA? You know, maybe you haven't shot either one. If you haven't tried 2011s, you might want to go and shoot one if you can. Um, there's some that I would stay away from. However, when you get to these ranges, both of these are good to go. So it's whatever you choose. But I hope these questions that I get asked all the time, I'm hoping this kind of helped you make a decision or answered the questions you may have. Uh, because I get asked all the time. I mean, it's amazing. Um, and I love the interaction. So please ask other questions if you have them. But thank you all so much for watching. Remember, an unarmed nation is a very weak nation. So we all got to carry on.